Hey guys, this is Zach with Printsu. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to do an install for a 2020 Sprinter van roof rack with the integrated track system. So let's go ahead and show you guys what's in the kit and what you're going to need. All right, so when you open up the box, you're going to find side rails, some crossbars, a wind deflector, and some hardware. So the side rails, since the vehicle is so large, there's actually four of them. We're going to bolt them together with these connector plates. Um, the wind deflector here, we have it with some noise reducing trim, which we recommend that you add. It just cuts down on road noise. And then we also got our hardware over here. These two are for connecting your side rails to the crossbars. This one here is going to be for your wind deflector. This big one's going to be for your mounting hardware. We've got some tie out rings for you and then also some thread locker just to make sure nothing falls apart. And all you're going to need to do this install is a Phillips screwdriver, a size 30 Torx, and then a 7 16 wrench. All right, so the first thing we're going to do while we're still out here on the ground is take our wind deflector and put it on the silver crossbar. We're going to do that by taking these T-nuts, make sure you have the flush side facing up, and place them inside the crossbar. There's going to be five on each slot. And then we're going to take our screwdriver here and just space them so that they all line up with the holes on the, the wind deflector. Now that we have all of our nuts here lined up with the holes of the wind deflector, we're gonna go ahead and put it on top. And just look over the top to make sure everything is pretty close because once you start screwing these on, it's gonna be kind of hard to move it around. And make sure once you get one of them in, they can be kind of difficult sometimes. Keep it loose so that you can move it around and line up the other nuts. All right, so once you have everything loosely attached here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the wind deflector and the sides of the crossbar are pretty flush. And once you make sure that, you're just gonna tighten every, uh, every screw here. Now that we got our wind deflector all set up, let's grab our mounting hardware and head up on top of the car. All right, now that we're on top of the vehicle, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what comes in the little hardware kit to mount your rack. Uh, it comes with some nuts, some washers, two different size spacers, some carriage bolts, and then this little thing we call the track washer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the carriage bolt through this track washer here. And then this is what slides inside the track here. So we just slide it right in there. And there's, there's gonna be uh, eight on either side. All right, now that we have all of our hardware here in the tracks, we're gonna grab our side rails and just lay them next to the, the rails here um, to make sure that you have the spacing correct. And then take each one of these bolts and just slide them along until they line up with all the different mounting feet. And then we'll go from there. Some of these might have a hard time to work on their way through these plastic connectors. So if they do get jammed and you can't really push it through, you push down on the front of the track washer and push through from the back and it should work its way through. Now that we have all of our hardware put in the spots where the mounting feet are, we're gonna slide the very front one all the way up to where it butts up and can't go any further forward. And then take the side rail here and just put it in place to make sure everything is perfectly aligned. And now that we know everything is aligned perfectly, we're gonna take these thick washers and slide it in between the track and the side rail. Okay. 
So now that we have all of the hardware in the right spot, we're gonna make sure our spacers are on the correct mounting foot. So every single one's gonna have one of these thick washers that goes down on top and that sits just on top of the track. And then these front two are gonna have one of these black spacers that are three eighths long. So that's the first two. And then the two after that are gonna be half inch long. So then once we get those on, we're just gonna grab our side rail and set it on top. And then to make sure it doesn't slide off and scratch our pretty sprinter van, we're gonna take one of these skinny black washers, set it on top, and then just hand thread on one of these nuts. Okay, so inside your mounting hardware kit, you're gonna get some carriage bolts, what we call a track washer, a thick washer, a half inch spacer, three eight spacer, quarter inch spacer, some thinner washers, and then some nylock nuts. Okay, so the back half of the side rail is just like the front. You're gonna take it, butt it up against the front to make sure your spacing's right, make sure all your hardware is lined up with all the mounting feet. And then the spacers are like this. We've got a thick washer here, um, a 3 8 inch spacer, thick washer with a three inch spacer, a thick washer with a quarter inch spacer, and then the back one gets two thick washers. So we're gonna place it on here. Grab our thin washer, set it on top, and then just thread on one of these nylock nuts to make sure it doesn't fall off. All right, so now we have both halves of the side rail up here. We're gonna take our connector bracket, looks kind of like a Band-Aid, uh, and you're gonna take your side rail hardware uh, with a washer, put it on through, and then the back side of it is another washer and then one of those nylock nuts. And this is gonna be 7 16 drive nut, and then those side rail bolts are a Torx 30. Uh, and at this point, we're not gonna tighten this all the way. We're just gonna leave them on there loosely so that once we have all of our crossbars on, we can make sure these line up and then we'll tighten them. All right, with our side rails all lined up and ready to go, we're ready to put our crossbars up. Uh, the only thing you really wanna look out for is to make sure that these drop points are all in the same orientation, facing up. Um, for example, the inside one is further forward on these. It doesn't really matter which orientation you use, just as long as it's consistent. Okay, now that we have our crossbars laid out, you might notice that you have uh, one less crossbar than you have slots to mount them in. And that's because the rear three are kind of to give you options if you have something in the way, like maybe an antenna or something like that. Also, you'll notice we're actually only putting in 11 crossbars because we have a vent here in the way. And just know that you can leave out a crossbar or two if you have something in the way in the middle. All right, so 
when we're putting the hardware into these crossbars, you're gonna to wanna to put just a little bit of that thread locker on it, just a small dab, and then thread it through. Be careful not to over tighten these. Uh, for example, I'm just using a 12 volt drill and I have the torque setting way down at like five. So don't have to torque these very much and just the thread locker is what's gonna hold them in there. Okay, once we get all of our crossbars on and secured, we're gonna put our wind deflector on. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a good idea to put this noise reducing trim on before you get up here. So we're just gonna lay it across here. Try not to scratch any paint. And then these will also be Loctited or thread lockered. We'll just put them in here. We'll just put them in here to make sure this doesn't fall off and scratch our car. You also notice that we have two slots here. Um, that's just to help you adjust how close you want your wind deflector to the top of your car. And I think we'll end up going with the lower slot, but we're just gonna put it right here for now. Okay, with all of our crossbars mounted and our wind deflector mounted, we're ready to start tightening down all of our mounting feet. Uh, first thing you're gonna make sure is that this mounting foot is still pushed up against the front. Um, ours shifted back a little bit when we were tightening all the different crossbars. Uh, so you just wanna make these tight. Make sure they're nice and torqued down. All right, then once we have all the four of the front mounting feet tightened, we'll move on to the connector bracket. All right, so tightening this connector bracket is pretty straightforward. All you really wanna do is make sure that these are somewhat flush. You don't wanna have it to where the front and the back are all cockeyed and not on the same plane. So you just kinda of tighten one, eyeball it, make sure they're pretty much straight, and then just torque her down. All right, now that we have everything tightened down, we're ready to hit the road. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.